What's up everybody, Steve here. I'm gonna show you exactly how to find short sale properties on the open market in your area. Now before we get to that, it's best to understand exactly what a short sale is. Now a short sale is when a borrower is distressed, meaning maybe they had a job loss or divorce or death in the family and they're having a hard time paying their mortgage and maybe they stop paying their mortgage. So a short sale is basically a good alternative to a foreclosure for the borrower. A short sale is when the lender will agree to accept less than what is owed on the property. Now this is gonna include all closing costs as well where the lender will actually pay for the commissions, title insurance, doc stamps on the deed, and any other closing costs related to the sale. And many times the banks will accept an offer that's even below current market value just to get rid of it as quickly as possible so they do not have to go through the foreclosure process. You see, the banks actually save money if they do not have to go through the foreclosure process, which is why they agree to short sales in many cases. Now, I do have another video that's gonna go into more detail on how to buy short sale properties, what to look for, and things to pay attention to and to stay away from. So it goes into more detail. I'll put that in the description below. So you're gonna wanna check that video out after you watch this one, and I'll put it on the end screen as well for you guys. Also, if you're a real estate agent and you wanna learn more about short sales and how you can help people avoid foreclosure, I do have a course that I created. It is in the description below for you as well. Over the years, we've helped over 350 people avoid foreclosure by doing a short sale. So I believe you'll get a lot of value out of that course. All right, so let's go ahead and jump on my laptop here. I'm gonna show you exactly how to find these properties utilizing foreclosure.com. So if you guys do sign up for an account, I do have an affiliate link below. We do get a small commission for anybody that does sign up through by using that, uh, that affiliate link and it helps to support this channel as well. And also further, if you do want to support this channel, I appreciate a big thumbs up on this video if you do get value out of it. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump into foreclosure.com. As you can see, I'm on the main screen right here. It's broken down by the United States and you can actually click on whatever state that you want that you live in. And uh, I'm over in the state of Florida. So if I click here, I can actually click by county as well. So I can click the different counties, see what's going on. But anyway, I wanna search the entire state of Florida. So I'm just gonna go up here, type in Florida. It's gonna bring up all the foreclosure homes and every basically every home that is available through foreclosure.com, whether it's a pre-foreclosure, foreclosure, foreclosure uh, shadow inventory, HUD homes. And also, I'm gonna go through a series of these videos to show you the different types of properties that are available through this site as well. But for now, we're just gonna concentrate on short sale properties. I'm gonna go over here to listing type, and then I'm just gonna scroll down to short sale. At this point in time, because of the times that we're in right now with the, uh, the pandemic, there are a very few short sales on the market right now. I anticipate that list to grow tremendously, especially when the forbearance pretty much ends uh, coming into early 2021. Um, anyway, if we go here, it's gonna show you guys all the short sales on the open market. So let's go ahead and just choose any one of these. So if I come here, I'm taking a look at this one in Oviedo, Florida. Also, something to, um, something to know, if I heart this right here, it's gonna save the listing and anything that happens with that listing, whether it's gonna be a price reduction or goes off market or actually becomes a foreclosure, I'll get a notification on that as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, if we scroll down, it's gonna bring us down to the property information. A lot of this is basically the information provided by the listing agent, uh, public record, it basically syndicates from the property appraiser to get you the public record information. And then property description, as you can see, short sale, and then it has all of the description of the property as well. And then if we go down, it is uh, notified as a short sale property. And um, if you wanna find out the actual listing agent for every one of these as well, all their contact information is gonna be right here as well. Obviously, you can use your own real estate agent, usually at no cost to you to represent you in a sale, um, which I do highly recommend because um, you know, you do want to have uh, somebody else negotiating on your behalf, in my per professional opinion. Um, we scroll down to foreclosure.com as well. You can run numbers for your mortgages and so forth. And then if we go a little bit further down, you got the listing history. Now it says pre-foreclosure. That's usually 
um, notification of the Liz Penance. Liz Penance is basically the start of the foreclosure process. And um, it looks like it just started back maybe in October 26th. And um, basically anybody that stops paying their mortgage, usually the uh, lenders are gonna go and file a Liz Pendants. And um, essentially, again, that's the start of the foreclosure process. And then the time starts ticking right there for the seller to get a, uh, a buyer lined up as quickly as possible as well. Also, if you're a buyer, you are helping these people out because they do have to get rid of these properties. So it's a really good option for you as a buyer, but also be sure you watch this next video that's coming up as well on tips um, in terms of buying short sale properties because there's certain things that you have to keep an eye out for. There's certain things that you want to avoid as well when you're buying a short sale property. All right, that's all that I got for you guys right now and I appreciate you guys watching and be sure you guys watch that other video that's gonna provide you guys additional tips on buying short sale properties. Until next time, I appreciate it and thanks a lot.